Okay, so we are going to do some fast aviation math today. And we are going to talk about knots per hour to miles per hour. So if you have had someone say, well, yeah, knots per hour to miles per hour is easy. You just multiply your knots by 1.151 and you got your answer. And uh, it made you feel like an idiot. Not that I'm speaking from experience. Well, this video is from you because that's really not tough, but I can't just multiply that like a calculator in my head. When you're flying in a plane, little fractions really don't matter that much. Everything's bouncing around. If you've got like a, you know, pedostatic system like I work with, that thing's bouncing all over anyway, but we need to be close. We're going to drop that extra one because that is absolutely useless for the sake of our fast math and actually figuring out how fast we're going today. So... Here's what we're going to do. This 1.15 means that this 0.1 is 10% of whatever the knots are that we're flying. This 5 is 50% of that 10%. So let's talk about what that means with some examples over and over. Let's say we're flying 10 knots. Well, 1.15 is the conversion that we're looking for. 10% of 10 is 1. 50% of 1 is 0.5. But since we're not going to deal with fractions, we're going to round that up and make it 1. That's 2. That means that when you add that to the 10, you're going 12 miles per hour if you're going 10 knots. Let's do another bit of math here. So we're going to use the same 1.15, and we're just going to do a double that. So let's go 20 knots as we go through here. 10% of 20 is 2, 50% of that 2 is 1, and that means we are going 23 miles per hour if we are flying 20 knots. Let's do a practical thing or a question here. We'll say 1.15 is a conversion as it is. My VY in the Cessna 172 that I fly is going to be 71 knots at altitude. I fly pretty high up in the sky. Well, 10% of that would be 7.1, but we're not dealing with fractions, and that makes 7. 50% of 7 is 3.5, but we're not dealing with that either, so we're going to round that up to 4, and that's going to make an 11. And when you add 11 to 71 you're going to get 82 miles per hour. So VY, and actually we have two planes. Uh, they're the exact same plane, except one of the airspeed indicators is in knots and one is in miles per hour. So that's why I'm doing this video and thinking about it a lot. In one plane, I'm flying 82 miles per hour. In another plane, I'm flying the exact same 71 knots per hour. And so let's talk about some other rounding options because we can do this as different or often as we want it talks about 71 and rounding one way let's talk about maybe we were flying 86 knots and flying uh, and so we're going to do this rounding kind of the other way well 10 percent of 86 is 8.6 we're going to round that up to nine half of that is 4.5 we're going to round that up to 5, and that's going to make 14, and that's going to make 86 knots, roughly 100 miles per hour. I think because we rounded up twice here, you're probably going to find if you go back and check on that math, it's going to be a little bit closer to 99, but again, who's really counting at that point? So, you can do this all day long with this, just remember that knots uh, is going to be or I should say miles per hour is 10% or 50% of 10% added to the knots that you're going to fly as you go through there. So let's say we were one more example, 1.15. Let's say we were going 230 knots. Well, 10% of that is 2.3, which we're going to round down again uh, I should say is 23, sorry, my bad, because uh, we're going to drop that zero for 10%, so that's 23. Of course, then 50% of 23, as we get a little bit more complicated, sounds like something like 11 would be 22.5, and since we're doing not doing 0 0.5, so we're going to round that up to 12, that's going to make then 20, I should say 35, 
plus the 230 here, so actually let's do that, equals 265 miles per hour if we are flying 230 knots. So again, that 230, that we take the 10% is 23, half of that would be 12, you add that together, makes 35, and you get the 265 goes into 30. So it really doesn't matter, again, how big the numbers get. Of course, I think everybody here understands kind of the basic idea of math, but again, it's hard to multiply 1.15. It's easy to do a couple of math problems in a row. So again, I really hope this helps. I like talking through problems. I need to talk through them and see them and visualize them in order for me to learn. So this helps me, and I hope it helps you. Have an absolutely spectacular day. Safe flying.